we're just buying ourselves enough time to track down the man of the hour joining us right now on the Arizona Sports Line. One of our favorite guests. We've Booter! had him on the show many, many times. Booter Baker. <laughs> we know him as Buddha Baker, but Gambo always mispronounces his game. The Pro Bowl safety for the Arizona Cardinals here on Burns and Gambo. How you doing to Buddha? Hey, I'm doing good. How about you guys? Good. Congratulations on the Pro Bowl, man. You got to be excited about that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Let's hey before we talk about all of this, how about the Washington Huskies, my friend? Oh yeah. Na- the national champions coming soon. Man, how excited were you to see them win that game? And that was a terrific game. Texas almost made a comeback at the end, so it got a little scary. But just tell me the just the pure excitement, being a guy that played for Washington to see your school in the national championship game. Yeah, yeah, I was very excited, you know, especially because my junior year we went to the semis and we lost to Alabama at the time. So I definitely wanted them to get over the hump. And, uh, you know, I actually fell asleep late, late into the game. So I woke up to, you know, a bunch of messages and, you know, seeing that they won. So it was very exciting. How did you fall asleep while the game was going on? He's Man, I'm, I'm an early bird when it comes to going to sleep. So even making it to the fourth quarter was a very – very good positive for me okay <laughs> all right all right hey give me your thoughts on Penix jr kids you think the kid could be a pretty good pro yeah man i think he's a dog he's 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 a true dog right there the pinpoint accuracy um you guys saw a little bit more of his you know his running ability last last game he doesn't really need to run but when he does he's very smart with the ball he's he's gonna um slide and i definitely think he's gonna be a, a great NFL back. Are you going to get to the game on Monday night? Are you planning on going since the season ends on Sunday for you guys? Uh, is the sky blue? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I... Okay. Yeah, All right. Course. Just making, you know, just making is, sure. This... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah go... of course. I'm, I'm going to make this one for sure. Okay. You go on sidelines or you just watch it from the stands? You know what? You guys might see me on the sideline. Oh, nice. You guys might see me on the sidelines just so mm-hmm. I can sit back, relax, and kind of just, you know, enjoy the great football that's being played. All right, let's talk about this Pro Bowl berth for you. Um, you're sixth as a member of the Arizona Cardinals, uh, and and obviously, congrats. As we mentioned, did, did were you expecting the call? Were you were you hoping to get the call? I I know statistically, if you're just looking at the numbers, you know, it might take some people by surprise. But were you expecting this? Yeah, I mean, um, for me personally, you know, I missed five games. So, um, you know, personally, I was, I knew that coming back, you know, I was going to have to play my best football, of course, and just continue to, you know, have the standard being the standard. And, um, you know, I'm not surprised at all because of, you know, I, what I feel like I put on film each and every week. You know, I know there's not the big, the big uh, statistics and, you know, the PBUs, the sacks, any of that type of stuff. But, you know, I feel like I've definitely been playing football at a very high level. And, uh, you know, the the players and the coaches, they, they watch film and they see it. So yeah. definitely, um, you know, something for me personally where I was, you know, I don't really pay attention to the Pro Bowl stuff. I never do promo stuff for the Pro Bowl. I just kind of just, you know, take on each and every week trying to be a better player, a better teammate for my guys and, you know, control what I can control and, you know, whatever happens, whatever happens. So, of course, when I when I got the call, I was definitely excited. But, you know, not surprised at all. Listen, they got uh, – they moved on from a lot of players from the previous regime. Uh, I mean, a lot. I mean, even Isaiah Simmons and, and just so many guys that they moved on from. But I – you know, I remember we talked about it so many times. It's imperative that they keep you. They need a leader. They need somebody that can lead by example and show these these other players how to prepare on the field, off the field, how to be the consummate professional. So, you know, when when that when there was talk about you requesting a trade back in April, I think we were all like, okay, you got to find a way to keep Buddha. You stayed. You didn't leave. You didn't follow through with the trade request. Are you happy with the decision that you made? You know, at the end of the day, I let the media be the media first and foremost, you know. So, you know, uh, my agent definitely had all full control over all that type of stuff. And me personally, I just let the outside noise be the outside and the noise and just work hard in training camp or work hard, you know, in the off season, get my body right for the season. So that's that's how I first approached it. Do you feel good 
about the future with this new coaching staff, with some of the success you guys had, the win against Dallas, the win against Philadelphia. Do you feel that this team is on the verge of turning the corner and being a contender as soon as next year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely felt like, you know, J.G., Monty, and those guys came in there and, um, you know, they developed a great culture, you know, for the Arizona Cardinals who kind of lacked that. And, uh, you know, we just talked and believed that we're just going to grind it out each and every week and let everything else take care of itself. So I definitely think they have, you know, great coaching staff, um, you know, great young players that, you know, a lot of young rookies have been playing this year and are are getting better. So, you know, I feel like the sky's the limit for the organization. And, you know, um, guys are just getting better each and every week, and that's all you can ask for. I know, you know, the record doesn't speak for it, but, you know, I definitely feel like those guys are, um, you know, everyone is getting better each and every week. The coaches are doing a great job of keeping us in the game, and, um, you know, we just, you know, try to play good football. So I definitely think the sky's the limit. Pro Bowler Buda Baker, our guest here on the Burns and Gambo show. I, I, I certainly know you're not one to make excuses, and I certainly am not asking you to, you know, like throw anybody under the bus or anything like that, but I am curious how difficult this season has been with how many young players have been in that secondary with you. Lots of different rookie cornerbacks, lots of guys kind of making their – how how tough is that – for you, how much tougher does it make it for you to kind of be the captain of all that, navigate all that when there's so much youth back there with you? Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, um, personally just being able to, to be more patient. You know, um, you know the, the world's different and each and every person and player is different. So it's a matter of, you know, um, it's not a matter of how you say things but or what you say, it's how you say it. You know, so just trying to, help those guys to the best of my ability that's always been something that you know personally I've had on my mind for a while and you know yeah there might be a couple times where I might talk to a guy more heavily but usually that's when guys mess up you know uh, the same thing two to three times that's when you're gonna get some communication but at the end of the day I understand what it what it feels like to be a rookie and to be playing football on the NFL team you know with a whole new um, learning of how football is and personnel and stuff like that. So, you know, just continuing to be patient and continuing to 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 give the guys the the keys to the you know keys to the to the car. You know, so just trying to um, help help guys to the best of my ability, develop, um, understand you know route concepts and down and distances and you know certain red zone plays and stuff like that. Because of course we all know college football is different than you know NFL football. So. You know, for me personally, I've just uh, been taking it one day at a time, continuing to grind with my with my teammates, continuing to uh, get better as a player, as a person, and, you know, controlling what I can control first and foremost, but then also, you know, helping and communicating to the best of my ability for the guys. So, you know, of course, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a poor sport. I love the win and mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. And just understand that each and every week, you know, I go into the week thinking we're going to win the game. And, we're going to work to win the game throughout the week. So that that's the full thing that matters. Well, you've beaten some good teams. You went on the road and beat a Pittsburgh team that's fighting for a playoff spot, Philly and Dallas. Could you sense that that win over the Eagles meant a little bit more to your head coach? Um, I mean, you know, of course it, it would mean a little bit more just because, you know, he was a coach there. Um, you know, him and various other coaches for our team were coaches there. So, you know, it's definitely um, – special of course just to, to go in their house and uh you know be the away team and you know um have a great week of practice and prepare and just believe we're gonna win and then on Sunday you know just continuing to play um you know the football that we think is a great football and um you know ended it out with the win so that's definitely special you know definitely was you know happy for JG but of course you know that was just another week and we got one more week to you know show everyone what we got and um, you know, end off the season the right way. Buddha, congratulations on the uh, Pro Bowl berth. Uh, we'll be looking for you Monday night at the National Championship game, but we'll also be looking for you this Sunday as well to close out yeah. the season against Seattle, man. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it. 
Buda Baker joining us here on the Arizona Sports Line. Is the sky blue? Yes, he will. He had that game on the sideline. Championship game. Very cool. He falls asleep in the fourth quarter of the game. Hey, you know, he's a professional athlete. He I, works his body I, I, to the the ultimate limits, and he needs his rest. You know, it's sleep's important. It was a late game. I, I, you know, I get it. I get it. We're right there with you, Buddha. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.